Hey there! Good to be doing another video. Looks like we're sticking with backstory and chill as the title. It just fit too well. I know this is small and slow going so far, but I've received a lot of support and kind words from you all, so thank you. Just gonna get right into it. So, here's the tale of Bartholomew, the agent. Alright, lads. Let me spin ye a tale. This be the story of our captain himself. Most days, an unattended minotaur child would have died on those shores. Well, this weren't most days. This day, a bored noble and his family were taking a bit of a vacation. When he saw that wee bab still in the arms of his drowned father, that noble thought to himself, This must be an omen. For you see, the crest of his house was that of a bowl. So surely, this child must be a sign of good things to come. He raised that child as his own. Bartholomew, he named him. Bartholomew grew up big and strong as an ox. Er, uh, a bull, as it were. <laughs> he was fiercely loyal to his adopted family. He learned to sail, and eventually took command of their small merchant fleet. But one day, war came to their shores. Their ships were drafted by the nation to serve in the navy. Bartholomew went with them. These are our ships, he said. I'll go with them and make sure they return to us when the war is done. And that is how Capham became a war hero. He left a boy and became a man, decorated with honors and dripping with glory. His adopted father felt pride and it was assured his choice to raise the boy was the right one. Bartholomew became the Crown's favorite agent when a job needed to get done. You wanted ships sunk? You sent Bartholomew. You wanted men dead? You sent Bartholomew. You wanted ladies wooed? You're damn right, you sent Bartholomew. His loyalty was unmatched. His fervor, unquestionable. His track record was spotless. Well, until it wasn't. You see, one man can only do so much before Locke catches up to him. He was given a job to escort some folks. Simple, but the sea had other plans. His vessel was blown wildly off course. They were lost for weeks. Dozens starved to death, including several of his charges. He nearly died himself when they finally spotted land. His failure wasn't met with leniency, given that one of his charges was the Crown Prince. He was shamed and sent home a failure. His family shunned him. I made a mistake that day, his father said. exiled, 
never to walk the halls of his home again. But Bartholomew, ever loyal and devoted, never stopped serving his nation, and never stopped trying to make his father proud. He sails the seas, haunting the enemies of the crown. Now, that's where we come in, boys. <laughs> he gathered us together, rejects and failures, so that maybe we can earn our honor back. We plunder his family's rivals. We haunt his king's most wanted. In hopes that one day he can be honored again. In hopes we can be proud again. That's why the captain has my sword. We ain't fighting for something as plain as money. So don't let no one call us pirates. They don't know what winds fill our sails. So, for anyone looking at the mechanics of this character, I will say, when I mentioned before in the last video about some of them being kind of strong, but power gaming not being the point, um, this build was accidentally pretty good. <laughs> so, you take Oath of the Crown Paladin and Swashbuckler Rogue, and it's really good. Because you get Compelled Duel, and Swashbucklers can get Sneak Attack in a 1v1. So you just kind of pull one dude aside, viciously murder him, then go about your day. It... That wasn't planned. It's just an accidental synergy that happened. So, uh... Do with that what you will. Also, smiting while sneak attacking is just gross. So yeah, he's he's kind of a death machine. But that wasn't the point. So there you go. Have fun with that. He's 12 paladin, 8 rogue. Um, yeah. Link in the description to his PDF. Holy crap, this guy is a lot. 